Who's staying in here? Uh, John and Abby. Newlyweds. John and Abby get the royal pillars. We've been married about 10 months now, and so coming to the marriage retreat. We feel like babies. Yeah. <laughs> What have we got to learn? Like, what are we supposed to bring? Like, what are we supposed to do? Like, I mean, it's it's different than anything we've ever done. Two yeah. beds in here, then, too. Oh, okay. Just two couples can use it, and y'all can wear blindfolds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's laughs> what do each of you hope to get out of this marriage retreat? I am hoping to learn a lot just in every aspect of our marriage, because I need a lot of work. What about for you, Austin? What do you hope to get? I hope she gets a lot of work done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's another yeah, there's yeah. four bedrooms, and then, yeah. There are five couples. We can pull one of these mattresses in the game room here. I guess getting our marriage off of autopilot and start actively investing into it. You have to work at it, just like anything in life. You want to get better at sports, you got to work at it. It's not just magically going to happen. I don't think people are just magically great spouses. I'm glad you guys all made it out here. Today, we're going to be focusing on three aspects of marriage. Uh, communication with one another um, and also compromise to which you have to learn to give and take in a marriage and then commitment. The Bible is very clear that we're to put God first in everything in our life. In the scheme of things, your spouse is your number one priority on earth above all other priorities. The very first thing we need to work on here is communication. Your marriage will crumble if you don't have communication. If you don't communicate, you don't have nothing. <laughs> you, you've got to learn how to communicate. And for some, it is a little more difficult than others. They have to be drawn out and talk more, and then some need to not talk as much and listen more. How about it, me? <laughs> a, no, actually, I talk more than you do, so. Communication clears up confusion. A miscommunication is a terrible thing. The only way to help is more communication. We think, if I say one more thing wrong, this is not gonna help the situation. But the truth of the matter is, more communication, even though it may bring some uh, immediate conflict, will allow things to be cleared up if you'll take the time and talk through them. My tendency when we're having a conflict, misunderstanding, is I won't even, I'll just be hurtful or whatever, and then I clam up. And I'm just like, I won't say anything else. I'll give the silent treatment, which is not right. And so I've been having to work on that. I need to communicate what I'm thinking and not just be like, okay, I give up. Plan times to just communicate. That is one of the most important things you can schedule in your, in your planner, is plan times to just sit and talk. And the busier your life is, the more you're gonna need it. 